Yeah, so it's always been our vision here at Soulscape to, to provide food and, and to source that locally and we're just really stepping into that, into that project now with this uh, project Soul Food. So we acknowledge that one of the biggest impacts that our business has on the environment is, is the food that we eat and the, and the food that guests bring on site, processed, packaged, imported goods. So we're creating an example of what can be done as far as um, growing food on site and, and offering the option for guests in a tourism setting to, to eat locally. Yeah, essentially we've got people coming from all over the world that want to experience New Zealand and spend time in one place and the volunteer program we have people coming, they spend at least a couple of weeks with us, sometimes more and you know they're, they're in the gardens learning and doing uh, and contributing to the whole process of, of providing food for our guests and, and for themselves. Hey there, my name is Jonathan Hess and um, I'm a uh, tagging along trying to keep up with Rhonda today. We're making food production at Soulscape starting from scratch, from the ground up. It's pretty exciting. And that's my interest. I want to go back to San Francisco, where I'm from, keep learning about gardening and food production, and uh, teach people, set them up at their homes to grow their own vegetables in the city. So. My name is Rhonda Barbieri. And I hail from the United States and over the last 15 years I've been embarking on the great exploration of small-scale sustainable agriculture and a permaculture teacher. Uh, at present Jonathan and I are here at Mike Moss's organic dairy farm collecting uh, manure to be used for compost for building soil fertility. Kia ora. So to, to convert the lawns into production space, we've uh, sourced a bit of material from off-site from uh, an organic dairy farm, some, some cow manure um, and some green waste um, compost from the local recycle centre and we've incorporated that into the garden beds as well as, as, well as the, the compost that we've made on-site. Having lots of people staying here that we generate a lot of uh, food scraps and, and and green waste from around the property and got a, a several composting systems going, worm farms, um, hot compost and cold compost, so building soil in that way. Wolfing stands for Willing Workers on Organic Farms and it's an opportunity for people from outside an area to spend time in one place and and with a family or a group of people and contribute their energy, their efforts, their expertise to achieve and learn whatever's going on on the day. For us, uh, a good portion of it is, is growing food to provide for the kitchen. Um, and we're about to open the, the Soul Food Kitchen in about a week or so, so pretty exciting. 